where the man this thing is not a great filler nozzle this is why I don't like using other people's containers that get left behind I just had it on hand and I filled it but enough of that so I think the o-rings busted inside of this so this is just making it difficult and the end I have a special end on mine that I actually went to Home Depot now please I do not remember the parts there are guides online how to do that where you can make your own filler nozzle and I can will empty an entire five gallon container in one minute yeah that's one minute so the benefits of C85 believe it or not C85 actually has a bit of nitro but here comes my buddy Dan who I also work with and we're gonna be doing a boost leak check on his 450 wheel horsepower uh, WRX 2023 she's got a few mods and we're going to be checking that out today. Where you want me? That's good, right there. Where do I want you, baby? <laughs> smells good. Well, that's because I just spilled a little because this container is terrible. Yeah. You can smell it from there, huh? Yeah, that's that C85, man. So, then we got Dan's WRX. Uh, you've got... Which uh, intercooler kit is this? Parent intercooler Parent kit? front mount, yep. Okay, and I see your torque mount is Parent. Yep. We know that you have your clutch. What clutch is that again? Uh, I think it's an action, like a heavy duty single disc. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And yeah. the head gasket studs. We know you got yeah, before him. Just the standard ARPs yeah. were done. Yeah. And the Blausch turbo, right? Yeah, it's a Blausch 5356, yep. Okay, so it's a nice little setup. And you're currently on what, 40% ethanol? E50. Yeah. Okay, so your yeah. tuner bumped you up to E50 yeah. thanks to the new files. All right, man, cool. So we're going to do a boost lead check today because we just can't seem to get past a certain amount of boost, right around 23 pounds. We're just going to double check the system to make sure that there's nothing wrong. This is one of those quintessential things where a lot of times installs, everything can look perfect. The hose clamps look perfect and maybe a hose clamp just isn't tight enough or it just got caught on the edge of a lip and you can't tell. And what I mean by the lip is like on here, on the actual when you're mounting it on, say, a throttle body or a pipe, it has a rolled lip. And sometimes you'll get that clamp stuck on the edge of that lip, and it will leak at a certain boost pressure. So we're going to check that today. Yeah. Alrighty. So I have to put this on a lift. Well, I don't have to put this on a lift, but because of Subaru's, the turbo is in an interesting spot. So you can see that the turbo is actually under the car, so I have to do a boost leak check from the front of the turbo. That's the most ideal place for an inlet charge pipe but since the breathers connect and come up here, I don't want to end up blowing it out through a breather section. And that just makes it useless. I don't want to have to clamp off these giant lines. It's just a better to direct connect it there. It's less likely to pop off. So that's why I'm actually doing a boost lead check from there. So let's see what's going on and figure out what the heck happened here. So the culprit is this pipe down here. There is an O-ring. Let's come down here and show the folks. Let's see if I can get a good shot. Up here, there is an O-ring, and that O-ring is leaking. So we're gonna see what's going on there. We're not fully seated. Now, this is why it passed the smoke test, because you can't see this in a smoke test. You can't see pressurized air in a smoke test. Right, because smoke has no pressure. Right. Well, they make machines that do both, but they're difficult to find. Well, by. Our, ours did not. Yes, unfortunately, at the shop it does not. Or at the. Yeah, let's go and we get this snap ring off. And then we can pull this pipe off. Uh, other way, genius. Okay. This car's going to pick up 50 wheels. Yes. <laughs> yes. Let's figure out why. Let's get this thing out of here. Now, what the heck is going on? Why that? She's leaking. It's a tight squeeze in here, brother. I hate these T bolt clamps. Yes, yes. O ring's gone. No O ring. What? So apparently the O-ring somehow fell out at some point. There's literally no O-ring on the charge pipe. So there's your boost leak and we'll have to order an O-ring and then replace it. 
and that will be the fix unfortunately the video is going to kind of end here as there's no way that i have an o-ring this big these things do happen from time to time unexpectedly unfortunately this was not this was not done by me um i'm not gonna throw somebody on the bus because it's not cool the guy's a good guy and this is a mistake that can happen to just about anyone so unfortunately we will just have to figure out how to get a new o-ring i don't know if this is a parent specific piece or if this is a standard o-ring so i wonder if maybe even this was ever in there in the kit in the first place from the day one who knows well amazingly we happened to call the subaru dealer and we got an o-ring so let's pray that this is the right size o-ring they did say it was the turbo outlet o-ring and this looks like she'd be the right o-ring because she's the diameter of the port now i don't know if you can see that on there uh let me see if we get out of the sun and maybe that'll clear that up a little bit so it is the diameter so basically we got to take that o-ring and get that in that groove inside and then i'm going to put a little bit of lubricant on there to slide that in there just a touch of what oh that is it that be the old back in business baby let's go we are back in business all right he's gonna dab oil mm -hmm. so that this way the o-ring goes in nice and smooth does not pop roll or anything of that nature and i keep forgetting i don't have to aim this camera because it will follow me when i set it to afterwards what a beauty all right so i'm gonna the last time Okay. Yep, that means ZP engine assembly glue. Uh, so what I'm going to do, again, is I'm going to set this clamp up so that it can be gotten with an extension sure. a little bit easier. And I'm going to try to set this. I know this one's already set.